Hey there everyone, welcome back. Johnny B here with devslopes.com and in this video we are going to create our spawn points. Now up till now we have been uh, working with our objects that we, our game objects that we have here in the hierarchy. We have our tanker, our hero, our ranger, and our soldier. Why is our soldier out here all by himself? Let's grab him and move him back over here. And uh, which is fine, but uh, in, a, in the game that we want to build, we want our enemies to uh, spawn at random locations at random time intervals. And for that to work, we need to have uh, specific spawn locations. Now, uh, we, we need to know where the spawn locations are, but we don't want the player to know, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to create empty game objects, and those are going to be our... Um, spawn points, okay? So right here in our hierarchy, I'm going to uh, right click and say create empty and I'm going to call it spawn points, okay? And then I'm going to right click on spawn points and again say create empty. And that's going to create another empty game object under it and I'm going to call it spawn point, okay? And that set itself at zero, zero, zero and uh, we don't need it to have any other property other than a location, other than this basic transform component, okay? So, because we're just going to be using it as a location in which to spawn our enemies. So, uh, but what we do want is we do want to be able to see it uh, just for um, in the scene, uh, us, the game developer, will be able to see it, but the players won't. And for that, um, Unity has provided uh, these nice little icons. All right, and so we are able to select um, different types of icons. You can have a little diamond, a uh, circle. We're gonna go with these pills and we're going to uh, choose green for our orcs. And so there we have a spawn point. And um, uh, just to see here, I'm going to make our group of spawn points, uh, make sure that it's at zero, zero, zero as well. Okay, so that's that's what we want. And then the spawn point itself um, can come out here. Okay, so basically all, all I was doing was there, in there was uh, just adjusting the um, location of the parent game object spawn points and I just set it to zero, zero, zero. And then for the child spawn point, um, we can put these pretty much wherever we want. And I think we'll Maybe like one here, one here, one here, and one over here in the corner. So I'm thinking about four spawn points. So I'm gonna select this one spawn point and I'm going to press Apple D, Apple D, Apple D. So we have four spawn points. Then I'm just gonna rename them all to be uh, just spawn point. Whoops. All right, and then uh, we can just uh, place these wherever we want. I'm gonna put one over here. I think right here is good. And then I'm gonna put one uh, back here. And then this one, I think I'll put, oops. And this one I think I'll put right about here. And this last one, I'm gonna put over down here in the corner. All right, great. So now we have our four spawn points. And um, that's actually all we're gonna do in this video. I know it's a, a real quick one compared to the other ones we've been dealing with, um, but we've got our spawn points set up. And in the next video, we're gonna be working heavily in our game manager and setting up the code that will manage when and how many enemies to spawn, where to spawn them, as well as manage our game dynamics. Um, and so I hope you're looking forward to that and it's gonna be a good one. So I will see you then.